Hey everybody, it's it's me Neptune, I'm back, and um, as you can see by the title of this video, today we're going to be diving into a Steam game, but I don't get to pick that game. I'm going to be using a random word generator to kind of generate, you know, a kind of criteria, and then we're going to use a random number generator to pick which game out of that list that we play today. And um, I've never done something like this before. It's completely foreign to me. Don't know if it's foreign to you, but we're gonna go on it together. And um, you know, after after I play the game, we'll play it for a little bit, kind of give a review of how I feel about it. If it was good, if it was bad, I, you know, do I recommend it? Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of the gist of today, so let's go hop into our random word generator and get started. Alright, so here we are. We've got the random word generator up. I'm um, just using randomwordgenerator.com. Uh, we're going to go with one word. It can be any word. And then I'm not going to kind of give it any other criteria. So, three, two, one. We generate and we get disturbance. So now we're gonna head on over to Steam and type in Disturbance and just see how many results we can get. My audio kind of cut out here. This is me post-production, kind of just explaining what went on. Um, so basically my audio cut out and I was in the process of typing in the word Disturbance, which is what we got from our random generator. And as you can see on the screen, about like a, however many results, I think it was 194 came up. And then I put that into a random number generator and rolled that and ended up on 46. So you see me counting down to the 46th uh, item on the list and we land on a game called Trom. So let's get back to the normal video. All right, let's hop into this. Let's see how this goes. I'm kind of interested to see what the premise of this game is. It seems it seems interesting. Um, I read a couple of the reviews and they said it's a fairly short game. That doesn't mean I'm going to play through the whole thing. <laughs> so we'll just see how it goes. So first, I get wake up. So I guess we're asleep. Um, Irma, the moment I saw you, I hoped. The moment you smiled, I knew. I knew what I wanted and what I needed to do. Slow steps. Handshaking, sweat pouring, I walked. Da, 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 da. So it looks like they got married, and this is kind of like a, a nice little note. And, um, yeah, yeah. It's like a wedding vow. So it sounds like a couple that just got married. Looks like he works a desk job. Um, someone at the door, he locked it after everyone left doesn't like being alone. Someone is there. So how do I control? Okay, arrow keys. Peek through the keyhole, or I think we're gonna peek. Thought I was alone in here. If that's an ax murderer and I die in this building. I guess we're just gonna open it. It's Chris. Okay, so it doesn't sounds like he doesn't get along very well with a lot of his co-workers. It's almost 9 p.m. Why don't you go home? Boss demanded that I get this report done. Must have fallen asleep. <laughs> I know, I know. It's just that I'm drowning with work, and if this isn't done by tomorrow, I'm in real trouble. I hear you. How are things at home? Everything okay with the missus? What? Why do you ask? Has she said anything to you? Huh? No, it's just the fact that you've been practically living here the past week. We're fine, I suppose. She just wanted to have some time on her own, so she took the kids and went to her mother's. Kids? Yeah, kids. What of it? I thought... Never mind. Sorry I brought it up, Mike. I didn't know. No, it's okay, we're gonna work this through. Every marriage has its rocky patches, right? I wouldn't know, I've never been hitched. Well, it sounds like 
Sounds like this marriage isn't really uh, going too well. So my wife's visiting my boss. Don't know how I feel about that. You pause for a moment, take a deep breath. You can feel your anxiety level rising and you clench your fist. So now I'm angry. <laughs> can't find my keys. Okay, so now I gotta find my keys. So we're gonna check our desk. And so, search the left drawer. A brown envelope. Resignation <laughs> letter. <laughs> okay. Um, so it looks like he doesn't enjoy his job. He has no loans and his wife is supporting him herself at the moment. Um, he doesn't like his job. He wants to leave. Yeah, let, let's take the letter. You know, we might we might get get out of this cubicle. Okay, my cell phone's here. Keys are not there. So that means we got to check another room. This is where the axe murderer is gonna come in. Hallway. Is this the lunchroom? Some, oh, so I, I guess I put my keys in the fridge instead of in the drawer and my lunch in the drawer instead of in the fridge. Idiot. <laughs> Alright, time to go to the reception. My guess is I have to take the elevator. Okay, there's the lobby. Okay, then no, no thanks. Let's try one, two, three, four. Time to go back up. New key is 2573. Let's try this. Let's try it. So after we get our keys, I'm guessing now we can go back. Oh shoot. Two, five, seven, three. Okay, I got it unlocked. Why, why is there a pink dildo in the box? I hope my keys didn't touch that. Let's go home. Get out of this trashy job. I had no control over me walking there, just so you know. Just so you know. My character had a death wish. So, I'm in a hospital, I guess. Um, I'm gonna keep the IV in. Oh, well. I guess, I guess I just take it out. <laughs> so we're in a hospital room. The floor is very cold. Yeah, it's just a heart rate monitor. A locker looks like a place. Okay, collect stuff, find a way out. There's the keys, okay. There's the phone. 
Maybe this is our clothes. Okay, so we got everything back. Now, let's just hope. Oh god, it's curse again. What, what party? What part are we talking about? Get the tuxedo from the dresser. We're off. What is this? I, I'm confused. I'm as confused as the... Alright, well, let's just put it on then. What? What was that? so spooky I don't know what's going on yeah let's just let's just try and get out of here no, no. oh creepy lady no I don't want to check that out I should leave how do I get out of here morgue. Can't go in there. <laughs> They're gonna force me to go check it out, okay. Alright. Let's go get murdered. done for. We're done for. <laughs> so is this just back to another like ghost story thing? Alright, we're gonna change our clothes. Or try to leave, I guess. No. Can we leave now? Let me out, let me out. All right. Well, I can't go out that way. Maybe there's a bag exit. Also locked, the morgue will be unlocked. Whoo! Locked. Oh. There go the lights. I is this game a horror game or something, or is it just like it's supposed to be creepy? I I don't get it. A flashlight. Oh, now there's blood on the wall. <laughs> this is not. This ain't it. This ain't it, Mister Smalling. chill computer the blue screen of death Let's try left. No, oh, no, not again. Not 
corresponding. Oh god. They're making us follow the footsteps. <laughs> this is not a good time. But it's not. It just dead ends. Takes me back to where I was. Okay, maybe we follow the footsteps then? Figure. Follow him, is that what he said? So now I'm chasing the guy? For some reason, I don't know if that's correct. Oh. We're done. I don't know where to go now. Okay, so we're back, we're back to like, oh no. <laughs> a key. Okay, okay, okay. Does this open the door? Yes. Is it really the egg? Is it? Okay, okay. Looks like we're outside in like a warehousey type area. How did I make it home? <laughs> With all of that. everyone I think I've had enough of this game for right now so this is where I'm gonna leave it I I don't know how I feel about it it was a little more horror thriller than I expected so we'll leave it here if you want to see more of it just let me know but yeah <laughs> this has been Trom peace out see you in the next one